Welcome back. My name is Dr. Carl Baird, and today I'll be demonstrating 10 squat variations for beginners. So as you probably know, the squat is one of the most important movements to improve movement and build strength to solve joint pain. But it can be a tough movement to get started on if you're somebody who's been dealing with chronic joint pain for a long time, or you're just new to the strength training world in general and want to make sure that you're doing things right before you do something that maybe aggravates or causes knee pain, which is the opposite effect of what we want. So these 10 variations are going to start with the very easiest and work your way up so that you're able to build strength without stressing your joints. Let's go ahead and get started. Our first squat variation is called the sit to stand. This is going to be the entry level squat variation for anybody who's brand new or just not feeling comfortable and moving right into the squat. So to perform, we just need a bench or a chair and you're going to start seated. And so from there, we're going to do just as the name suggests, we're going to go from sitting to standing. So I'm going to press through my feet, come to that standing motion, then send my hips back and sit back down, sit to stand. There you have it. Our next variation is called the box squat. So it's going to be similar to the sit to stand, only now you're going to be starting in the standing position with the box still behind you. So I'm going to be standing, I'm going to send my hips back, and then I'm just going to tap my hips on that chair and come back up. So I'm not going to sit all the way down, just a quick tap of the hips and come back up. That's the box squat. Once you feel comfortable with the box squat, we're going to take the box away and move right into our air squat. So it's going to be the same movement, only now we're not tapping our hips on a box. So what it looks like, standing, send the hips back, get to the bottom and come back up. Our next variation is called the tempo squat. So this is where we slow the squat down to really ingrain that squat movement pattern and get more time under tension so that your muscles can get even stronger. So what we're going to do is on the way down, we're going to count three slow seconds. At the bottom, we're going to hold it for two seconds and then just come back up normally. So what it looks like is three, two, one, hold for two, one, two, come back up, three, two, one, one, two, and back up. That's your tempo squat. Next, we have the one and one half squat. So what we're going to do is perform a full squat, come halfway back up, and then sink back down in the movement. This is going to allow more time under tension in that squat to continue to build strength. So what it looks like. You're going to come down one, you're going to come halfway back up one half and then back down and then stand all the way back up. So it's one, one half, sink back down and up one, one half, sink back down, come back up. That's the one and a half squat. Next, we're moving into the air squat and hold. So this is going to be an isometric hold in that squat position to really fire up our leg muscles. We'll start with five seconds, but the goal when I work with clients is I try to work them up into 15 second holds to really get that squat burning. So what it looks like, we're going to squat and then hold it at the bottom of the squat position. So we're just going to do five, four, three, two, one, back up. And again, five, four, three, two, one, back up. That's the air squat and hold. Next, we're moving into the banded air squat. So what we're going to use is a little eight inch mini band and we're going to put it around right above our knees, which you can see I've got mine on right now. And so what that band does is it pulls your knees inward. So what you need to do to perform this movement is really focus on pressing your knees out. That's going to engage this glute med and this TFL, other important hip stabilizers along with the traditional squat muscles. And then it's just going to be the simple air squat that we've been practicing, just making sure that you're really pressing your knees out that whole time. So once you feel confident with these body weight variations, then it's time to start adding some resistance. And adding resistance is really how you start to build strength to limit the impact that goes through your joints. So this is really where we wanna work ourselves up to. And our first variation is gonna be called the goblet squat. So I'm gonna use 
a kettlebell. You can also use a dumbbell. I'm going to hold it right at chest level. I like to hold it upside down. It's just what's most comfortable for me. As close to my chest as possible. And then we're just going to do the same air squat that we've been practicing. The weight just adds a little bit of resistance so that you can continue to build strength. That's the goblet squat. Another fun variation is the single arm goblet squat. So this is going to be where I hold the weight, the kettlebell, with one hand. So I've got it resting on my forearm, holding the bar here. And so what this does is it just sort of shifts the weight to one side. So my core really has to engage to balance everything out. But other than that, it's going to be the same as all our other squat variations where we're just going to come down and back up. Make sure that you do both sides to even yourself out. Our most advanced variation that we'll do today is the single arm goblet squat to overhead press. So this is how we can turn the squat into a full body movement. So what it looks like, again, same single arm goblet squat that we did in our previous variation. But now when I come back up, I'm going to shoot my hips forward to move into the overhead press. I'm going to come back down, squat, overhead press. Make sure that you do both sides. Switch it to the left, single arm squat, overhead press. So as you can see, there's a lot of different squat variations to meet you at the level that you're at. So the goal is to find your starting point and then simply just work your way up. So as you start to feel more comfortable and confident at one level, move to the next. And that way you're continually challenging yourself to build strength to protect your joints. So that's all I got for you today. Again, my name is Dr. Carl Baird. This is Solving Pain with Strength. If you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm here to help. Hey, it's Dr. Baird here. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube page to catch all our videos designed to help you build the strength and confidence to live active, healthy, and happy lives. You won't find it anywhere else.